The AFL Tribunal's decision to clear Braden Maynard of all charges relating to his collision with Angus Brayshaw was the only decision it could make. According to Letter of Law, Maynard's attempt to smother ball at MCG on Thursday night and subsequently give Brayshaw a concussion as he prepared for contact is not specifically considered illegal under league rules. Lawsuits filed by lawyers for both the AFL and the Magpies on Tuesday night clearly demonstrated this. While league representative Andrew Woods made the weakest of arguments that Maynard and future players at his position should consider the potential for any movement within microseconds to cause injury. Collingwood attorney Ben Elay responded with a successful argument that Maynard had no chance. He made that decision in real time. And his initial action, choosing to jump into the drowning, was entirely reasonable under the circumstances. Many players must decide in fraction a second which of the various landing paths, high-speed collision, and which these landing paths are likely to result in reportable crime, said presiding judge Jeff Gleason, while explaining why Maynard was acquitted. My fingers fell off. Please see the following reasoning for the court's Maynard decision through Jeff Gleason leaping from center in first quarter of Thursday's qualifying final. Brayshaw collected ball beyond edge of center circle. He ran straight to the line. David Zita September 12, 2023 Trial Guru David Zita of Fox Sports wrote Gleason's entire statement. But the entire decision hinges on this one salient point. It was always going to be like this. If not in court, then an inevitable visit to the AFL Appeals Board, where Magpies received suspensions up that level. Maynard would never have been penalized for polaxing Brayshaw. It is currently not illegal to shake a player as long as it is caused by a reasonable action. And I believe this is the area the AFL urgently needs to address. What Maynard did is legal now. Come next week. It should NT happen. Reason? Simple no matter how football-oriented Maynard's move was. No one disputes that it was truly an attempt to smother ball. The result left one player knocked out. Elimination of a crucial game and possibly more. Facing an uncertain future. Concussion is most serious problem we will face the game in our lifetimes for either player John. Platten's heartbreaking revelations this week about his health struggle following a lifetime of head. Injuries are just latest a long line of worrying consequences. And the AFL itself. Given the ongoing concussion lawsuits against them. Simply put, this is at least a life-changing risk to which players are unnecessarily exposed. And at worst a threat to the fabric of our game. The AFL didn't fail Brayshaw by not subjecting him to harsh punishment for toning down Maynard it. Had already failed him by not providing the necessary safeguards to deter players from doing as the Collingwood defender did. Over the past, 